What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to the forest. We're going to be on the hunt for more blueprints today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some quick food. And then I think we're going to go out and we're going to look for the church and church items like, like coffins and crosses and stuff like that. All right. I think the... I think if memory serves me correct, the crossbow is also down there. Did I not get any blueberry seeds? Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess I don't have any blueberry seeds. Anyway, we got to make our way out that way. And I'm going to be kind of going. I did a little bit of research, but just a very little bit. And I'm going to be mostly going off my uh, recollection of where I have to go and what I have to do. Let's go ahead and save the game. And we're going to be making our way out to a, uh, like a sunken ship, right? Like some kind of boat. And it's, um, it, there's like a piece of the boat on an island and we're going to go to the island first and we're going to kind of find the underwater part of the boat after that. And, uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to turn off this, this, um, thingy me bob here. I forgot to turn this off. Is it off? Yes, that's off, right? That is, that is off, right? Yeah, that's off. Nothing's doing anything with it. Okay. Yeah, because the thing is, I, I want to get attacked by mutants. Because I want a mutant head for above that that entrance I have. You guys, I was, I was wondering about things I could do at the entrance. And you guys helpfully uh, reminded me. Well, you can make mutant trophy heads. and uh, Yeah, I mean, that would be great. Like a freaking Armsy or um, a Virginia at Cowman head trophy right above. Like right, right on that freaking, you know, right above the entrance of my base. I mean, <laughs> that'll really give these guys a second thought if they want to come screw with me, you know? Right there is the boat. Okay. Uh, right by the anchor. It makes sense. Now, the problem with this is I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this this way. I'm going to try this the quick way. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to do it the other way, which is going to be not as quick. Uh, but the thing is, there's going to be sharks out there. There's no doubt about that. If sharks start attacking you, it's like a couple hits and you're dead, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come over here and I'm going to like swim to islands and kind of island hop my way over there. Uh, and like I said, if I can get over there like this, great. If I can't, then uh, I'll just probably make a raft or something. I could use the houseboat. The thing is, I I'd rather just make a raft and leave it here when I'm done because the houseboat is so slow. For me to get the houseboat over here and then get it all the way back home would take for freaking ever. Uh, and I, I just don't want to deal with that. So I'd rather make a raft that I, I could just, like, like let, let it sit out here and get destroyed. And, uh, you know, well, it wouldn't get destroyed. It would just sit out here and do nothing. But that's okay, because the raft is pretty cheap. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I believe in an upcoming video. I don't know if it's going to be next video. But there's, like, some kind of um, log shoot, like, log slide thing. That people keep telling me about. They've been telling me about it and building it up. Saying it's the best thing ever. You can make stairs with it. You could like move logs around with it. Do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so I will be looking into that. And I, I'm, again, I'm not going to do that next video. I don't like doing, you know, the same thing back to back. As far as like blueprint hunting goes. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next video. I, I, I might, I'll probably work on the towers. Um, I definitely want to build a church. I, I could always build the church next video. Um... You think I could build the church underneath my... Ooh, how about a church underneath the base? Ooh, oh, okay, hold on. How about this? How about a church underneath the base with a an elevator going down to it? That would be pretty sick. Because the whole idea with the church is I want to build a like a graveyard right next to it. You know, because I, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of churches around where I live, like they have graveyards. Like it's where you go to bury people and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think having a graveyard near a church would be pretty dope. And it doesn't really make sense to have a graveyard near a church if it's on a wooden foundation. Like if I build it at my base like I was planning to. So, what I'm thinking of, and again, I might do this next video, I might not, it depends. Uh, but what I'm thinking about is an elevator going down below and then putting the church like kind of underneath the base. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I might do that. I might do that. I reserve the right to change my mind at any time, obviously. Change my mind. 50 times a day. I'll probably change it three times before the end of this video, but that's what I'm planning right now. Okay, so this is the island where you're going to find part of the shipwreck. Okay, and uh, see we came from over there. And here's a ship. I don't think there's anything in the shipwreck on the island, but I'll... No, there's, there's nothing here. 
there's nothing here. Okay, so out here in the water, there's going to be... Remember that, like, that wooden, like, platform that I found uh, in the last place I went? Uh, where I found the um, uh, the glider and stuff? Uh, that's what I'm going to be looking for out here. And I'm not seeing it. And I really don't want to be swimming around out here. Uh, <laughs> you know, blindly with sharks in the water. So give me one minute. And let me see if I can spot this thing. Okay, I just went back and watched my last video where I got this last time. And the front of the boat should be right over here. Or the back of the boat. I don't know. Part of the boat. Whatevs. Should be right over here. And then this should lead us to where we need to go. Um, I might have wanted to put on the um, uh, the rebreather. But I'm going to try and go down there without it. Actually, I think I can jump up on the wood thing. And then I may be able to put the rebreather on after doing that. So let's, let's try this. Come on, get up there. Nope, almost. It's a little rough out here. Come on. Come on. Alright, whatever. I'm just going for it. The hell with it. I don't really care. Alright, so we're going to come down here and go right down here and kind of scuttle our way down here. Oh, okay. Well, apparently that automatically put my rebreather on. So that's wonderful. I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see what we got going on down here. I don't know what the hell that stuff is. Do -do -do, swimming through the rocks. Ah, I would have made it. Yeah, look at that. I would have made it. No problem. Who needs a rebreather, right? Except that I'm cold. Alright, you guys can't see Dick. So let me go ahead into the options. And... M131! And beautiful. I will also brighten this up while editing. Uh, are there bones down here? Or... Don't look like it. They're kind of just for show. And here we are. All right. Anything interesting over here? Oh, we got some crossbow bolts. Very nice. How many crossbow bolts can you hold? It do Why doesn't it tell you how many crossbow bolts you have? Uh, I can't carry anymore. I think you can only carry 10. I'm almost positive. At least that's the way it used to be. All right. Right here, we have the plans for a bunch of stuff. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And even though I don't like the weapon at all, um, I will grab the crossbow. Really don't like this thing. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? All right. So I got me a crossbow. And I got to keep moving or I'm going to freaking take damage. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, blueprints we got. All right. So we got a cross. Oh, that's like a big-ass freaking cross, dude. That's a big-ass expensive cross. We got some coffins. What the frick is this? What, oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, we've got a church. Very cool. So it looks like we got the cross, the coffin, and the church. Yep. That's the glider. That's the tower. Okay. Beautiful. Be beautiful. Uh, that's just pretty expensive. Probably won't make it today. Uh, but yeah, that will be something we will be doing later. Faux show. So let's get the hell out of here and get back to base. How the hell am I covered in blood? I just swam through the water to get over here. Uh, I don't know how I'm covered in blood. I must have hit a rabbit or something when I was cutting up bushes. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway, doesn't that freaking entrance look dope as hell at night? Oh, man. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. All right. I'm going to go wash off. Uh, I can't go to sleep now because I don't know what time it is during the night. If I go to sleep now, it's going to screw up the... Uh, you know, my sleep schedule in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend some time gathering resources. And in the morning, uh, we will look for some cannibals to fight. Uh, if they attack me during the night, I'll brighten up the video and we'll fight them during the night. But for now, um, I won't mess with them too much. Uh, because there's really no point to. I don't know why I came down here. I thought I was going to wash myself off. I can't wash myself off down here. What the hell am I thinking of? I mean, I could jump in there and swim over the dock. But I've been bitten by a shark there on more than one occasion. So... I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go around, go all the way down and kind of take the safe route. All right, people. looks like we can do some nighttime fighting. I think I'm going to set a bonfire over here. Just for the lols. It'll give me some more light. Probably call in some more enemies, but I'm okay with that. All right. The thing that sucks about bonfires is they go out and then you have to like rebuild them. But you can light them a few times, so... And I've never used them yet for you guys, so might as well. Plus, it'll warm me up, and I can burn bodies on it. There we go. What's up, bro? Oh, I heard a baby. 
I heard a baby. It's gonna get real. There it is. Oh, I almost knocked it right into my bonfire. Yep, when you hear a baby, that means that means the big boys are coming. Big boys are coming out to play. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. You can knock him right into it, and he catches on fire. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. I'm just gonna kind of stay stay by this thing. Oh, look at it. he's not dead yet. Soon enough, my friend. Soon enough, you're going on the bonfire, bro. Yep, you're done. Right? Yeah, you're done. So now you can bring him right over here and burn his ass. There you go. It's kind of weird, only one baby. Usually when you get babies, you get multiple babies. Oh, it's, it's coming daytime, I think. Yeah, usually when there's babies, you get multiple babies. And, um... And they usually come with Virginians. That's how you... That's how you know shit's getting real, but... I don't know. You seem to really be doing anything. Alright, fair enough. Well, at least if they attack now, it'll be during the day. I could see a lot better. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll just keep cutting down trees. All right, what I'm gonna do in between cutting down trees out here is we're gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna fly the, uh, I'm gonna fly the glider around a little bit just for the lulls, and also I'm gonna go down and mess around with this church under the under under my base. I, I just think it's really creepy and cool to have a church underneath my base. I just don't know if yeah, it might be too big. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Shit. Oh, it sucks, man. Oh, you're killing me, game. I can put it out in the water. Yeah, I can put it in the water, but then it's not gonna... Oh, that blows, dude. I really wanted to put it underneath here. Yeah. It's not that far off the ground. I can't... Oh, that's a bummer. That's a freaking shame. It looks like it's as close as I can get to the ground. And that's going to definitely be going up through the... Through the top. Shit. Well, uh, hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? How you guys doing? Oh, boy. You're dead. You're going on the bonfire, bro. That's right. Look what I'm going to do with your friend. Look what I'm doing to your friend. Look at him. Yep, that's where you're heading, pal. Oh, I got him right as he right as he got up because I'm pretty sure I was aiming over his head. Yep, that's right. You're next. Anybody else? I did get my arrow back, didn't I? Yeah, whatever. Anybody else want to go on the bonfire? I'm not in a good mood because of this church thing. Yep, there's no way. Not even close. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go with plan number two. Uh, let's first of all let's delete that church. I I can't put the church. Well, I guess I don't have to. I, I guess I don't have to have a. Uh, I guess I don't have to have a cemetery by the church, but I really wanted it by the church. I could just put the cemetery underneath the base and leave it there and have the church on my base. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having the cemetery by the church. Plus, um, I want to have the big ass freaking like. Oh, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on. Run into it. Yep. See, if you, if you run around the, the fire, they'll just run into it. See? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, okay. You're not done yet? Yeah, you're done. You're done, bro. GG, no re. You're finished. Bring me a mutant. I need a freaking mutant head. Okay, run into the fire, people. Very good. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold up. Hold up. Run into the fire. There you go. There's a lot of guys here. I think they could eventually break that fire. Which would kind of suck, but... That's alright. Oh, yeah. Hit each other. Time out. Time in. I should bring these assholes to the bone zone, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. All right. All right, come on, guys. Come on. We're going to the bone zone. All right, I got to jump this right. There we go. Okay. 
Welcome to the bone zone. That's right. You're all gonna feel the sting of the bone zone. That's right. Hold up, hold up, guys. J your wait your turn. Wait your turn. There you go. Look at all these idiots. There you go. You're next, buddy. Come on in. Water's great. There you go. And you're next, please. Come on. Come on, bro. Come at me. What, are you scared? You scared? Man, look at all these guys. <laughs> the bone zone's legit, people. It really is. And I haven't even made it right yet. There you go. And you almost caught it in the back. Run out. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this thing. This guy's like, what the hell? All my friends are dead. Yep. And you're next, chump. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, you too. Come at me. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Jackass. Oh, I hate these guys. Any mutants yet? I need a mutant head, damn it. Alright, so I could either... I could either put the cemetery under my base and put the... There you go. And put the uh, church on top. Or what I could do is I could put the church somewhere else. Now, I'll come back here and burn, and burn bones later. Or maybe I'll forget. I don't know. Whatever. Um, the other place I could put the church... I could put it up here or I could put it up here somewhere. I mean, it, could, it honestly it could probably go right here. Really. I, as long as I can put a wall around it, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I could probably put it right here. And then I could put a wall around it. And then I could, yeah. Because eventually, guys, my plan is to have a wall going all the way around this. So I could put the church over there. Now some people are saying put the church put the church out on that like area over there by that tree. It's a cool area, but then it's not really my church at that point. Um, if it's not within my, the confines of my base, I don't really look at it as my church, and I want it to be my church. Uh, so that's why I'm thinking about putting it right here within the walls of my base. Eh, we'll see how that goes. Let me burn these guys. Man, I'm not getting any mutants. I'm just getting a lot of uh, cannibals. Which is not really what I'm looking for, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a look at this cross thing. Oh my god, this cross thing is ginormous. Wow. Look at that freaking thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, that looks pretty dope. Let's take a look at one of the coffins. Alright, it looks like a chest. <laughs> looks like It looks like a loot chest like you'd get in Zelda. Like, bloop, 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 bloop. You know, the freaking Zelda music when you open a chest. That's what it reminds me of. Um, I'd also like to use the uh, crossbow at some point if I get attacked again. Let me get off M131 because it's got to be too bright. There we go. All right. I, I think we're just probably going to be uh, getting logs now. The only thing that's going to be different is if uh, I get attacked by a mutant at this point. But, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put the church. I'm thinking I'm going to put the church up, up there. I think it might look pretty cool. I mean, uh, the church, you know... It would look pretty cool here, too. Problem is, it, uh, I think the legs would go all the way down to the bottom, which would make it really expensive. So the other place I could put the church would be, like, right right here. You know, something like that. That would look pretty cool, too. But, I don't know. I, like I said, I kind of like the idea. I kind of like the idea of it having a, a graveyard next to it. I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, you know what? Let's chop down some trees over here. Let me turn on the thing that shows me where all my log sleds are. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any over there. So I'm going to grab a couple log sleds and bring them over there. I don't really want too many over there. Maybe like one or two. We can start clearing out the trees and at least start clearing out that area uh, where I'm going to make the uh, where I'm going to make the church up on that like hill. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool spot for a church, I think. So yeah, right about here. Start taking these out. And I gotta take out the stumps as well. 
so they don't grow back. All right, let's see if that's enough of an area for us. Looks like it's gonna get dark soon. Is it? Could it possibly be eating dark? No, nah, it's like noon. It must be because it's raining. All right, uh, this will probably not be the ultimate uh, orientation of the church, but I'm just gonna kind of play around that a little bit. Uh, the entrance should probably be on this side. Because I'm going to want to put a stone pathway coming up to it. Uh, I don't really think it needs to be like off the ground. Although with the, you know. <clears throat> Is that grass going to come through the floor? I'll bet you it does. Damn it. So I could make it off the ground. Guys, let me know in the comments. Will the grass come through the floor? Because I'd like to keep it on the ground, but... I don't think that's going to really work well for me because I don't want grass coming through it. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, turn those off. It's a little dark, so let's go to M131. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm looking at. And then we'll have a pathway coming right up to it. And then on this side, or maybe out back, or maybe on this side. This is probably where I'll, where I'll put it. We're going to put a bunch, we're going to put like a stick fence around it. And then it's going to be uh, a graveyard. Yeah, sounds pretty good to me. All right. Uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is. I I'm probably going to re reorientate it, re replace it. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly the way I want it to be. But I definitely want to know your guys' thoughts on if the grass will come through the bottom. Because I'm, I haven't made any, I have not made an item. I've not, I've not made one structure in this game on the ground in years. Because... I just assume stuff is coming through the bottom, but I don't know that for sure. So, we'll have to see. Um, it is noon, so I think we got a little bit of flight time uh, before we have to, you know, worry about nighttime. <laughs> we got some flight time before we got to worry about nighttime. I'm a poet. Not really, because that's not a rhyme. That was just saying time twice. That's pathetic. Pathetic, bro. Okay, let's grab the sucker. And let's go ahead and eat. Thought I heard something weird over here, by the way. No. no. I'm not hearing anything now. Okay. You always gotta watch out for those babies. Those dirty, dirty babies. Man, it's gonna be dark soon. I didn't realize they're so close to nighttime, man. Damn. I just wanna do a little bit of flying. Uh, we're going to fly, damn it, because I said so. And that's all i got to say about that. Because KJ48 said so. Right? You guys know you know what that's from? We're going to fly because KJ48 said so. And that's all i got to say about that. I'm pretty sure that's the way it went. All right, let's try and climb up this thing without falling this time. That'd be great. Come on. There we go. I'm up here with the birds. Up here with the birds. Alright. We are going to try and make it to the cannibal camp. If I could ever figure out a way to fly this thing properly. And make it all the way to the cannibal camp with any kind of regularity. I will build one of these towers at the cannibal camp to get back. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Okay. Right. Yeah. Maybe we should cut down the trees on the way over here. Because the trees are what's killing us. Yeah. See, I can't make it because of the stupid trees. Yeah, I got to take down these trees and then take out the stumps. All right. Well, you know. I, maybe. Maybe. I think we could probably do it. That's going to be a hell of a thing, though. Trying to take out the proper trees. I think it will be worth it, though. I think it'd be worth a shot. Because if we can get there, if we can get to the cannibal camp uh, in one flight path, then I will just make a giant tower at the cannibal camp and then we'll get back. It'll be awesome. Because I do like going over there a lot for supplies. I just don't do it because it's, it's a long run and I'm lazy. So, And that's my timer. Alright guys, we're going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.